Hey guys, we're back with um, the new Iron Maiden Spitfire. I skipped this one up a little bit in the queue just because it's the new plane um, and somebody in the EU sent this to me. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to try Pilvenuga. Yes, Pilvenuga. Oh, fuck, we're just calling you Pil. So, Pil is flying the Iron Maiden Spitfire here. And let's see if here if it's true, if they got the guy in there. Yes, look at him right there. That is the Iron Maiden pilot. Sweet Jesus. Awesomeness. So let's see what we've got here. What does we have on that? We have two 20s and four 7.7s. Now, I have i don't have the plane yet. I just started it tonight. I did the first three missions or whatever. And I started jumping in here to work on some videos. So, um, yeah. Uh, from what I've, I've heard, people said this thing is very similar to the DB605. Um, yeah which is a fucking excellent plane at tier six. So now we have another um, another Spitfire uh, at tier six. Um, pulling around in here, he's already racked up 1100. He's fighting over the center objective here. It's a five objective map again. Gotta love those. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat that they're doing the whole Iron Maiden thing. I'm not a big fan, I guess. I mean, yeah, they have some songs and all, but I, uh, yeah, maybe just, uh, taste in music wise but it's still pretty cool that he's uh doing this uh put his face <laughs> i guess on the pilot um yeah pulls in on the p47b starts working him over yeah there we go and of course when i'm talking about his face this is not the actual face of <laughs> the gentleman uh this is more along the lines of, from their um artwork that has to do with iron Maiden. pulls down picks up the xp44 nails him and he's cleared out the center objective here. It's a 2-2 right now. Uh, this, is, of course, looks to be attrition. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yep, yep, yep. Attrition. We'll figure. No. Maybe. No. <laughs> not, not attrition. Uh, fuck, I'm losing it today, boys. Um, picks up the XP-44. <laughs> I got so many of these stupid things going on. I'm playing fucking warplanes and playing tanks. Um, yeah. So... Picks up KS-1903 in the BF-109F, puts a big splash into him, um, doesn't quite get him back around. This thing's got some, looks like some insane maneuverability. Uh, however, he is on fire. He does have the fire extinguishers, thank God, and not the, uh, the med kit, you know. <laughs> puts another pass in the BF-109F, uh, he's on his tail. And I don't, yeah, the BF-109 just does not have the turn ability to stay with this plane. Um, really, if you get it fully upgraded, there's not a whole lot other than maybe a zero uh, that's going to be able to spin with you. Um, picks up the uh, BF-109F, finds the XP-44, drops down, see if you can pick him up, nails him, and he's looking for his next target here. Oh, what have we got here? Nails the other BF-110E. Yeah, he's pretty much just about killed everybody that's human. <laughs> Minecraftman in a Falklo 57. What the fuck? Um, apparently up tiering is a thing. Pulls around, looking for the BF 109E and taller it. Uh, yeah, he's gonna go make a head-to-head -head pass with uh, uh, Pill. Does not get him all, but that's all right. Because this plane turns on his dime, he's right back on his tail, picks him up, finishes him off. Already up to almost 10,000 in a grade three, and the game is just started. Finds the P47B, Elliot, starts working him over, nails him. And there is his 10,000. I, I, I'm guessing this is going to be a winged edge legend. <laughs> it's only 250, 186 now. They're to 3 to 2. Uh, and the fucking buffet is open. And we are waiting for the next uh, group of bots to come in here and die spectacular. Finds the XP44 coming in. Um, Buffalo 57. Ooh. Oh, what a he came up with to get in here. Ah, he's with the BF110E. Yeah, that's a. That is a uh, hell of a match up there. <laughs> Finds the XP-44, start works him over. Yeah, um, I'm not a big fan of the XP-44, so I really don't shed a tear when I see them things, you know, burn and fall out of the sky. Finds the P-38F, however, he can be problems um, with that LT performance and that big boom. Um, he sticks right with him, surprise, surprise. He gets the boost on, stays right with the P-38F, all the way up to about 2,000 meters. Um, I can already tell I like this plane. <laughs> Finds the P-47B who stalled out. Elliot, Elliot, oh fuck Elliot. Elliot's dead. <laughs> Drops down, finds the next uh, human pilot. Hey, yeah, this is just a smorgasbord. Now he doesn't even care, he's no longer in the center. <laughs> it's just 
plane after plane after plane. Already up to 13,625 on the um, personal points. And he's looking for some more red baddies. Find the Dalek 09, the BF 110E. Oh, shit. Picks up the wing legend. Doesn't get the kill on him, but that, hey, what does it care? He's got the wing legend. He's, he's murdering the baddies here. Finds the Falklow 57. Oh, I just feel bad for the red team. Um, I mean, that, that plane's fine. It's fine against tier twos, but no. Just not for here. Does some fancy shit. Pulls out of the XP-44's line of sight. And XP-44, of course, kind of didn't really turn that one in well. Um, now he's diving. He's trying to get away from him. Uh, but this is a Spitfire. Yeah, we're just going to catch him from behind. Finish him off. Pulls around. Looking for his next target. Puts it in some yo-yo shit. And finds Quimby. Doesn't get all of it. Doesn't get him. But hey, whatever. He's at 16,000. Almost 17,000 personal points. Yeah, I would say this looks very similar to a DB605, which is, you know, probably, if not the best tier 6 premium plane, then everybody's going to get one of these now. Um, finds Freeman in the XP44. The missions are terribly not that bad. I mean, I think I did the first, well, obviously win one and then do so much damage pretty easy. I had to spend about 45 minutes trying to find a super map where I could get the airfield. But other than that, not too, not too shabby to pick these uh, missions up. Almost a 20,000 on his personal points. He's just racking shit here. Um, finds the BF-09F, KS-1903. Oh, can you catch him? Uh, no, no, he's going to go the other way. He's going to try to see if he pick up the uh, defense fighter who's wandered out of the objective, which is awful nice of him. He doesn't even have to go over there and deal with all the other bullshit. Falco 57 comes through here. I don't know if he just fucking gave up. <laughs> finishes him off, gets the ace, picks up 20,000 on the personal points, and yeah, this, this plane is looks like it to be just absolutely ridiculous. I haven't noticed any real problems with altitude performance, uh, and it still turns like a beast. Picks up 21,000 on the um, personal points, and uh, the XP-44. Uh, these guys just brought the wrong plane to the fight, I think. <laughs> they, needed, uh, they needed something with a little bit either some zoom and boom or something with a little better turn because uh, he is just eating these guys left and right. Finds the XP-44. Ooh, it's a P-38F, I'm sorry. Getting my planes all fucked up here. Nails him and round he goes. Up to 23 all right now, it's 675 to 468. So much time left. Um, unfortunately, I think with the squall lineup, yeah, this is a tight game. 23, it's almost 24 right now, but they are down playing. So, picks up XP44 again, Freeman, Freeman, oh, Freeman, just go back to the garage, get a different plane, buddy. Spins around, looking for his next target, picks up the P47, ooh, that was, uh, yeah, surprise, surprise that the bot decided he didn't need to uh, ram him. Picks up Elliot again, comes in behind him, nails him, a little bit of help from Boomerang, and now he's got the G8 and a bomber. They're sitting 738-510, and they've evened it up. Uh, even Steven right now. Drops down on the IL-2. Andre finishes him off and is now a 3-2. Fortunately, he's at 26,000. He's got Carlo and the Spitfire 1A. However, there is a Spitfire 1 yet on the loose on the other team. Um, yeah, he's don't think he's really going to try for that uh, bomber just a little too high. All he's got to do is stay alive for the win. And yeah, what a nice game. Thanks, Pill, for the uh, awesome... Uh, new look at the uh, new Spitfire uh, Iron Maiden, 27,220. Nice job, buddy.